Hey guys, welcome to the Maxos Review. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you about the latest iOS App Store hack and how to prevent your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch from getting malware. So let's jump right into the video. Alright guys, so this past week the iOS App Store was actually hacked by Chinese developers inadvertently. Now for those who don't know, basically what occurred was some Chinese developers in China had a slow internet connection and rather than downloading the free version of Xcode, which is the application used to actually compile iOS applications, they decided to download a counterfeit version of this through a torrent because they had a quicker connection that way and they didn't want to wait. Well unfortunately, this new version of Xcode that they downloaded that was counterfeit was infected with malware thus when they went to compile many iPhone applications these iPhone applications became infected with malware and when submitted to the App Store actually uploaded malware to the App Store thus when people downloaded the application they weren't actually downloading the application alone but they were also downloading malware to their iOS device either their iPhone iPad or iPod touch this caused many people issues whether that be hacking of credentials slowing of their devices general crashes or general instability in their iOS devices. So basically it wasn't a very good thing. The actual malware was codenamed Xcode Ghost basically because it came from Xcode and its malware infected criteria that made iOS apps actually become infected with malware and a lot of websites actually released a list of applications that are infected right now that you should go ahead and delete until the developer actually says they're good to download once again. I actually had one of these applications on my iPhone and I actually deleted it but I actually have a list from different websites for you guys to delete iPhone apps off of your device that are infected with malware. As you can see right now I'm actually on a website called Redmond Pie which is a website I follow that follows Apple News. Great little website here but they have a list of iPhone applications that have been infected with this malware that you should remove right now. Basically some well-known apps were on here like Angry Birds 2 for example, um, WeChat, Mobile Ticket, WinZip, a lot of interesting applications that a lot of people use. So I just wanted to inform you guys about that and let you guys know that you should remove those right now. I'll link the list down there in the description for you guys to check out which applications were infected with the malware so you can remove them. But basically I wouldn't install them again until the developer says that they are safe to use because of this malware. Again, the malware is just going to cause you issues whether that be easiest, best case scenario, a slowing of your device, or worst case scenario, a hack of your credit card information or something like that. Don't really want that happening, just want to avoid that in general, so I thought I'd let you guys know. I did a video on the iOS App Store hack in 2010 or 2011, whenever that happened. This one is a bigger hack. This is the first official hack. The last one was more of a miscommunication and more of a rumor, but overall, hopefully you guys weren't infected with malware. I know I don't like malware. I just want to keep everybody out there safe from the virus on the iPhone and iOS devices because I know iOS devices are known as not having malware but apparently they can get it just so you guys know so be on the lookout for that don't download any sketchy things and if you do jailbreak your device don't download anything completely illegal or completely insane because you might actually have a chance of getting malware anyways I hope you guys like this video for more updates on the hack or more updates on iOS and Apple devices be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down there greatly appreciate it guys and I upload weekly videos so it greatly helps me out I'm gonna be doing an iPhone 6s review later this week so check that out um, by subscribing down there and stay tuned for more videos I've also got my social networks down there for you guys to follow follow me on Twitter especially I update there relatively often and also I've got videos for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps down there for free so check all that out guys and Stick around for the next video. I'll catch you later. Peace.